This is Mary at the Mary Atelier. It is Sunday evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. <laughs> Are you ready to do some art? Are you ready to do some art? Let me get into my channel and welcome folks in here. I hope you all have had a good weekend. Let's get rid of the ads. Come into live. Hi, Sherry Van. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Elvis. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me set the quality here. Have y'all have a good weekend? I can't think what I did this weekend. It must not have been. <laughs> well, I did. I stitched this weekend. And yesterday, yesterday I did some tatting. A lot of tatting. Hello up there in the balcony. Welcome in. I hope you all are having a good weekend. It's about over with. Better hurry up and have a good weekend. <sighs> and I've been working on my... I decided to join that Pentangle. I posted it. Uh, Pentangle.com. And they have a challenge going. Uh, take a stitch Tuesday. And they give you three options. They give you a, what they call TAST, which is Take a Stitch Tuesday. And they give one for kind of basic beginners. And then one that they call it uh, above TAST, which is a little more intermediate. And then they give a design challenge. And I did week one. I'm four weeks behind, of course, but I just started. So the running stitch was the beginner. And this is called the Aini? A-U-I-N-I. I knew. I knew stitch. I knew. It's spelled A-U-I-N-I -I after uh, an indigenous, indigenous Japanese. Hi, Pam. Hello, hello. Hi, Angie. And then this is my uh, design challenge. And I just used the back stitch. It was a just do linear lines. And I did the back stitch to make this whole thing, except for in here, I just did little stitches to make the, the tatting threads there. And then this is the I knew stitch again and the running stitch. So I'm going to put that in my journal. Let me refresh my chat here so I can welcome everybody in. Hi, Sherry Van. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome, welcome. Pam, your bookmark is in the mail, Sherry says. Oh, Sherry, I hope you get better soon. Elvis is here. Sherry, Pam, Angie popped in to say hello. Okie dokie. Well, it's still pretty early. And then, I before I started this, I've been doing a picking a stitch for every month. And uh, I've just been doing a sampler. In January, I picked the Algerian Eye. Let me hold it up. The Algerian Eye stitch here. And I think this is called the Double Wheat Tear. Here. And it all comes out of that Pentangle Stitch Dictionary. Woohoo! So, I thought I'd put this in my... And then here's the wheat tear stitch again. Double wheat tear stitch. And I've been working in my journal. So let's put these. This this won't go in to my desk journal until the end of the year. Because I'm just going to do one row every month. So hopefully I can keep this together. Who knows? So I have this and this to put in. 
and I thought I would carve stamps of the little stitches. And then we, last Friday night, we got to know Bobblehead Bob here. That was kind of fun. I need to make a pocket for this. I hear a choo-choo train, a choo-choo train. Hi, Kathy B. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let me... Let's see, I think I'll put this one on a... Let's just cut these. Oh, I've been having a lot of fun. <laughs> Doing nothing. I still can't go any place because I, I'm trying to conserve my money until the middle of the month. <laughs> oh dear. Except I am going to uh I'm going to town on Tuesday. I keep an eye on the Facebook marketplace, the local listings, and there is a lady selling twenty work basket magazines for five dollars. So I said, well, that sounds pretty good. That's what, about a quarter a piece, approximately? Where's my trimmer here? Three inches, will that do, do it? Maybe two and a half. And this is two and three fours. I'm going to make it two and a half. Would I say two and three fours? Will this fit? Yeah. And then my little wheat tear, which goes this way. One, two, and three, fours. Got a choo-choo train coming down the track. Angie says, I don't like milk, so I'm eating dry rice krispies. Well, crunch, snack, crackle, and pop. All the more crispy, Angie. All the more crispy for you. Now, um, Daniela uh, Mellon has a stitch challenge, too, going on, and uh, I'm participating in that. That's just one challenge a month, and she gives a theme, and the theme for February is MAP, and I know what I'm going to do. I just got involved in doing these things this weekend, and I did a lot of tatting. But I don't want to show it tonight. I want to show my tatting um, in a separate video. I've been making a separate little playlist of them. So I'm just going to put these on with double-sided tape. Pam says hello. Hello, hello, hello. And... We're just going to put a piece down the middle here. And let's see. Maybe in here. Whoops. And over here. Pam says hello. Hi, Nashua. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you guys on a Sunday evening.
Whoops, that's not gonna. Get rid of the little scrappies. So what have y'all been up to? Have you been doing your art? I think Pam's been doing a sewing challenge. Is that right, Pam? A sewing challenge? You know, I was thinking, I don't make many clothes, but I thought it might be fun to make a, a, a long tunic type thing, just a real simple something or other. I'd have to hunt up fabric for it because I don't buy fabric for clothing. But I wear a lot of leggings around the house. And a tunic might be fun to wear, but you know, I could, um, there's that challenge too, isn't there in sewing where you upcycle a, a piece of clothing? I've got stuff I could upcycle. I bought it at the thrift store and it's way too big for me. It'd make a nice tunic. Yeah, I think I like that. I got that down too far. I don't know if I can move it up or not. Pam says, I sold some overalls. Pamaralls. Oh, Pamaralls. That's cool, Pam. Hi, Kitty Jen. A tunic is kind of like a long uh, top. Um, that you can, you know, you can wear them with leggings and it kind of covers your tush area. And it's just like a long, a long top, a tunic. Right? <laughs> I hope I'm right. Kitty Jen, Kitty Jen says, hi, Sherry. I just about didn't come on tonight. And then I said, Mary, you can't play possum. You've got you to keep up your, your streaming. I'm playing possum. I've been watching Netflix movies. Um, I think I need to get rid of it before they charge me again. I think they charge me around the 16th of the month. And I might just watch a couple more and say goodbye to it. Now, I want to put this in my, in my journal. Whatever I did with that. My February journal which is getting quite full already. And maybe I'll just put it, because this is really kind of the second page. Maybe I'll put them here. And this is my blessings. Um, Arlene sent me this little zine and I put the, I put the uh, clusters in there. She had papers in there to indicate that it was a pocket. And I've been writing my little blessings. I have to write my blessing for today. My February blessings. In here. Oh. Hi, Shannon. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you, too. Shannon, I like that little um vase or a holder that that you crocheted that was really cool and i think becky did one along with you hi joyce welcome joyce welcome welcome two pams in here so who do we call pam 
Hi, Kathy. I said hello to Kathy D, which is there's made by Pam. Who's the other Pam? Did I miss somebody? Angie. Angie Sherry, made by Pam. Sherry. Stephanie. Who's the other Pam? Nashua. Oh, Stitch It Pam. Oh, Stitch It Pam. Well, you call you call Stitch It Pam Stitch Stitch It, and made by Pam Pam. <laughs> Pamarals. <laughs> Angie says, bless me. Did you sneeze, Angie? Stitch it is, Pam. Yeah. They are not the same person. Nope. Hi, Kelly Coquette. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Kathy Cowell. Kelly Coquette. Down there in that wonderful state of Florida. Shannon says, oh, well, I thought they were the same person. Nope. <laughs> and I just caught a little of paint girly this morning. I didn't chat. I just caught the end of her stream. And she was doing embellished paper clips. And it looked like she was doing um, an envelope. Let's see, I'm going to leave some room for journaling there. And, uh, yeah. You were just watching her. <laughs> oh. Oh. So what's on your desk? What are you guys up to? I got, I, I want to do Dee Dee's paper doll, but I got a brainstorm and I'm, I'm going to have to wait till after I go to town on Tuesday. So that's not going to get done tonight. I should work on some happy mail. Let's put it right down in here. And then this is the hashtag T-A-S-T -T embroidery. Or hashtag um, Pentangle, P-I-N-T-A-N-G-L-E, T-A-S-T. T-A-S-T stands Take a Stitch Tuesday. And they actually have a, a challenge going on where every week they go through a stitch. And I think I'm going to do little mini samplers. This is week one. Week one. And it's the running stitch. These are beginner stitches, but I think this is 32 count fabric. Boy, I'll tell you, my poor eyes. If I wouldn't have had that cataract surgery, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Running stitch, and I still used magnification. The I knew stitch is A-U-N-I stitch. And the linear design was for week one. Um, and they're on week five, but I just decided to start it today. <laughs> oh, linear design. And I'm going to put tat, T-A-T. And then down here was my February stitch that I'm putting on my sampler. And it is what they call the double 
wheat tear w-h-e-a-t-e-a-r i think that's how it's spelled so i'm already filling up my february journal i should draw leah wants a bear and brenda wants a lion and this is from arlene there's my wolf eyes Mina posted she got her wolf, and I got that wolf has the silliest grin. And I want to do some documentation about my bubblehead Bob, but so I'm not going to do anything on this page tonight. I'm going to have to figure out a way. I might just staple this on here. In fact, I think I will and save this bobby pin. Angie says, nothing on my craft table right now, but I will start tomorrow. Fix box up. Oh, you fixed the box up for Keisha last night? You're getting it all ready to send? Yeah, I bet your invoices will be out pretty soon, too. I'm only going until... Um, put this up a little higher. Maybe right in there. I'm only going until uh, 10 o'clock tonight. Put him way over here if I do this, but I think it'll be better to read it. And let's put it in here. And then I need a pocket for these. I need a pocket. a nice pocket will it fit in there let's just tear this doesn't tear very well and I'm just gonna staple this and this will fit down in here I I have decided I'm just gonna do little things. Uh like these samplers and tatting. I'm not gonna do big long long month journals. That works pretty good for me. And we'll put more in it. As I go, let's see, we need the blessings put back on here. Where do I want to put those? Let's put them with Bob. It'll eventually go in my blessings jar. Hi, Candy. Welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I'm down to the bottom here. What do I have? A paper. That came from Johnny. Paper towels. Waxed paper. Here's my happy Happy memory jar. We'll put that back toward the back. Uh, the paper dolls that Angie sent me. I think I'm ready to set this aside and I think what I want to do I think I want to carve some stitches and they carve up pretty fast fast whoops this came out oh Bob oh, how come 
How come you came out here? Let's put you back up here. Oh, here's his pointer. He's no longer pointing. And I was thinking that if I cut his hand open, that would fit in better. And what I mean, just make his hand more movable. And then this can fit in here better. His pointer there. But now we need a means to attach him in. I think he might go better over here. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Bobblehead Bob. But then he doesn't point. Let's, let's do it this way. Where's his hand? Up like this. There. That's good enough for now. And then the little blessing envelope. to keep it with the I guess we'll need this one after all there okay what's this oops <laughs> it goes like this there we go this is for February Andrew says, hi to all I missed in chat. I'm writing down what I did today in a book that I have. Well, that's cool, Angie. You know, I was thinking uh, over the weekend, why, why do we always want to remember the bad stuff? You know, and writing down these good memories is a good thing to do. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there, you know, I don't have any trouble at all recalling things that made me unhappy. Why do we always want to go to that first? I don't know. We're going to do a little carving here. Real simple. I did the tap. So now what I want to do is, and now Jerry and I, and, uh, which is basically a star, uh, and a um, wheat tear, which are my stitches. January was, January was the yeah, Jerry and I, and the wheat tear, double wheat tear, wheat tear. So, Angie, you're going to have to close your eyes while I cut this racer in half. Candy says hello to Pam. Lori! Lori loves Montana! Hi, Lori! Oh, it's so good to see you. What have you been up to? You retired lady, you. <laughs> Lori used to come to the early morning chats all the time when she was working, and then she retired, so she said, I'm going to sleep in. <laughs> Aw, good to see you, Lori. I tell you, these, these little red pull things never work for me. There. Lori, Lori, Lori. All right, so the... Get a pen. Not a... Get a gel pen here. Uh, 
we're going to do a, well, all I got is pin plus gears out here. Where's my gel? There it is. So the Algerian eye is real simple. I'm just going to do it here. Um, it just, like it has a center. And I'm, I'm not going to carve the center. I'm just going to carve the lines here. Let's see, about halfway. And it just looks like, I mean, it's real simple. In needlework. It just looks like a, a star. Except for this kind of makes a square. So you could draw a square and then draw the lines. And the double wheat here, I think I'm going to make it go this way. And it goes, this one might be a little bit harder to carve. It has a line here and a line here. And right under it is a line and a line. And then there's this line comes up and around like that. And then there's a line, a line, a line, a line down in here. And then this one comes up like that. So this one might be a little bit harder to, to carve. Uh, I think I could do it if I did it. Um, like I did for the wax seals. Leave the white all covered in. Lori says, oh, Kathy, no worries. I'm glad you become a regular in them. What did Kathy say? Kathy says, Lori, I'm sure thankful... You introduced me to all these streams. Oh, is that where you got, where how you found us, Kathy? Was through Lori. All right. This is, I believe, two and me measure. Two and a half, so one and a fourth. is the center point right in there. It doesn't have to be exact. And Angie, close your eyes. This, this eraser cut, cuts like butter, so it won't take long, Angie. I promise. It's just like cutting a, a pad of butter. I do need a more open blade though. It's like cutting a pat of butter. Angie says, but not with a sharp knife. You use a butter knife for butter. <laughs> All right, so let's do the Algerian eye first. Now this is a rectangle. And really, the Algerian eye is more of a square. So I might cut this down again. Let's see what I have here. Three-fourths of an inch. From four to four and... Whoops. Maybe we should only make it a half. Well, no, I can do that. Four and three forces right here. It doesn't have to be exact, just about. And so we want three fourths of an inch about in here. And so what have you been up to, Lori? 
Lori says, aren't they interesting? Oh, gosh, I forgot your name. Hi, Tommy Joe. Welcome. I am addicted. Uh, I follow the trials as well. The trials? That seems like more than three-fourths of an inch. Two and... Well, then this isn't doesn't seem right to me three that's three-fourths of an inch that seems longer to me it's not going to be perfect and then I have to find the center um I think it's five-eighths I hate these rulers I'm just going to guess I don't hate the rulers, but it's hard to see this metal when the light shines on it. So I'm going to carve here, here, or I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave these. And I'm going to leave them kind of thick. In fact, I could make them look like threads, make them kind of striped. And then I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut this eraser down a little. Well, do I want to? Yeah, I think I do. I'll use that as an eraser. Close your eyes, Angie. I'm getting out that knife again. It's just like cutting a pat of butter. It's just like cutting a pat of butter. It goes right through it. Almost. And I can use this if I need an eraser. It's a nice eraser. All right, we'll put that away. There are actual trials going on right now. The Murdoch trial right now. Where do you see that? Where do you see those? The trials. Welcome, Tommy Joe. Lori says, I've been getting into big trials happening on LawTube. Guy's channel. So interesting. Following a group of lawyers during the Depp trial. Oh, you started following them during the, the Depp, Johnny Depp trial. So it's on YouTube. LawTube, guys. Oh, that's interesting. I'll have to check that out. Crime TV? Crime TV on YouTube. Wow. So there's my Algerian eye stitch. And that will be real easy to carve. Now this other one is going to be a bit more of a challenge. I think I'm going to make a line kind of down the center. It's an inch wide or almost an inch wide. So a half of an inch would be the center point in there. So I'm going to make a line down the center here. And then we're going to come, we're going to leave a line here. This will be, this will be, I'll carve out all the negative. And this, this is what's going to make it a challenge. And like that. And then... There's a point in here, but this line is not carved out. There's, it comes as a kind of a, a circle, uh, an oval. It's a, like a daisy stitch, like that. And then there's another one that starts here. Let's see. Now I got to figure out this. Let's see. This one comes in here. And meets that point, and then the second one falls under it, like that, like that. This is the double wheat tear stitch, and then there's another, and I don't know if I can get that carved out there as an oval this point, so I'm just going to put it something like this. 
and that's good enough for me. This will be hard enough to carve out. So let's kind of make these longer, maybe. And let's see, I think I want to carve off just a little bit more here. Let's carve that off. Angie, close your eyes. Close your eyes. I was telling, for those of you who just came in, I was telling the, the gals in here that I watched the marketplace on Facebook. And uh, there was a lady selling a stack of 20 work basket magazines for $5. So I'm going to run, get, I'll use these. I could probably even stamp, make a little something in there. This one's a little thin. This one, I could carve something in there. A little doodle running stitch, maybe. Uh, the the Ainu stitch, which is that it really is colored, like it's it's really a, a stitch, a color stitch here, and then another stitch. I could do the just a little crosses in there. I don't know why I would want to, but I could do something like that. All right, we're gonna carve these out real fast. I think I'm pretty happy with these. Let me zoom in a little while I'm doing it. Lori says, also I've been buying everything I've needed for several years. I make more money now than when I worked. I love having a great pension, car, bed, dishwasher, then furnace. And microwave went out too. Yeah, doesn't it just, it's kind of frustrating. It, it, it waits until, it waits until you aren't ready for it financially and then it goes out on you. That's what I told my brother. I said, if something happened to you, everything would go out here probably. Where's my other blue? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we you. Is that it? No. Here it is. Okay, we'll do this one first since I've got it in. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. These should not take too long to carve. <sighs> now, if I stay within the 9 and the 6 over here, I should be in frame. The nine and the, whoops, no, the eight, the eight and the five. And yeah, so I don't want that one. And I like to bevel. I like to bevel the edges first. This should not take long to carve it all. I missed carved December. I was going to do it in November and I missed November too. All right, now I need to take out all of this in here, so let's go ahead and I think I want this one a little thicker. Make these lines a little thicker, just because I'm going to have to leave them in there. And think of this as being thread. Think of it as being wheat. The hard part is going to be these areas in here. And I'm not carving, I'm not carving the vertical line down this way. All right, so what I want to do is outline it with my little tiny V. 
like that. And then I'm going to come in with the scoop and scoop it out. And Kathy, I was watching you do your, your wax seals the other day. I don't think I watched the entire video, but I did watch you. And Kathy got to meet Tanya. How fun. They got to go shopping together. I'm so jealous. I did get to meet Tanya, though. She and her husband went on vacation. I think it was out in Arizona. And, and their son lives in Omaha. And so they came down Highway 81 through Nebraska. And I drove up there and I got to have lunch with them. Got to see their big old uh, RV that they have. I don't know if they still have it. I don't know if they traded that in or not. We didn't get to do any shopping, but that's okay. They, they wanted to get up to the campsite. At that time, the campsites were kind of filling up, and they wanted to get there. The one they had their eye on was on a first come first serve basis and they wanted to get there to get one so we just had lunch which was fine okay now i want to carve down this way and down this way. And I'm going to see if I can get this out. That worked pretty good. Let's try this other one. I don't, that one I kind of nicked a little. So, I think if I put, yeah, it's going to be nipped. So, I'm going to draw this a little thicker. So, that nick, I'll carve that nick out right in here. Or try to, anyway. And and we want we want these lines a little thicker. I don't know how that's going to look. I guess we'll find out. Hi, Melody. Your horse is on its way. 
Welcome, welcome. They still have an RSA, RSV. I'm not sure it's the same. Is it a great big one? If it's a great big one, it's probably the same. And you said, Mary, stop it. Step it up with my eyes closed. I'm about ready to go to sleep. <laughs> you just go to sleep, Angie. You can open your eyes. I'm carving now. That should be okay. I'm not cutting with a knife. I'm carving. Carving's not that dangerous. <laughs> Angie, Angie, Angie. I think carving's safer than using that automatic sewing machine that you use, Angie. I need to get out to my sewing machine. I have February postcards I want to do. I was thinking it might be fun to do um, galaxy postcards and then sew that star that on my leftover postcards that I put on the Christmas ones. Do galaxy because I'm only going to do, well, I have, I have about 18 of them, I think, left over. I didn't get them all sent. And I could do enough for some to send in March, too. Maybe I'll get busy on that. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Let's see, because this, these lines meet in here. These lines meet, and then this line comes up. I need to round it off a little more. This one's a little harder to carve. Let's see if I can get in there. And I should be turning my eraser, but I'm turning my hand. <laughs> yeah. And then. And I want to get to the library. I want to. Uh, I need to go to our local library and turn some books in. Oh, hi, it's so good to have my driver's license back. get that out of there okay now then these lines meet here and this line is here think of it as being a a, a stock of wheat only these these are done with this this is a needlework stitch all right, let's do this one. And I'll probably have to, after I carve it, I'll probably have to clean it up a little. Come on. Get out of there. Because you're going the wrong way, lady. Oh, let me pull my camera down a little. I'm more comfortable right in here. All right, right about there. That one will have to be cleaned up a little. Now we need to do this. And it meets in a V down here.
and then we carve this out. Whoops, I want to want to dig with that. And then these come down this way and this way and this way and this way. And like that. I don't know how this is going to look. We shall see. In the end, we shall see. I'm just about ready to stamp it off. I know I'm going to have to clean it up a little. Let's see what I have. Let me empty these shavings. And I think I'll stamp it in my Society of Idea Collectors, which you're just going to see a portion. If I can't find a good portion. in here whoops I think I dropped it on the floor where did it bounce off to uh oh did I I knocked it on the floor I heard it yet it likes to hide from me. Okay, let's move this down. All right. I know I'm going to have to clean this up a little more. Ha, huh, let's see. Melody, Lori, Candy. Are you tired, Candy? You remember carving in junior high? We didn't get to carve in junior high. Oh, that's really not too bad. Not too bad. Angie says, I don't want to go to bed right now because then I would be up all night. Now, I think I can shorten these, which are these over here. So let's shorten those up a little. Just a little. And I should do it on a piece of paper or napkin or something. I can throw the carvings away. And what else? Um, right in here. There's a needs cleaned up right in. Here's my other carving tool. Right here. Now keep in mind, this is what they call a, a wheat tear or T-E-A-R, wheat tear here. Uh, it's a needlework stitch. And what happens is they stitch a V-stitch here a v, uh, like this and then another V-stitch and then they come down to this point and they do a lazy daisy around it and then they do the same thing again with these and then another lazy daisy. Except for I couldn't get that top of that second lazy daisy in there but still, I think it came out a lot better than I expected. If I can get this out. 
And when you hand carve stamps, they're not going to be, they're not going to be like the stamps you buy unless you're exceptionally talented. And boy, I'll tell you, there's some good carvers out there. Let's trim this down a little. I got this out and then I'm not even using it. Man. You gotta. I think just a couple little little pieces in there that need to be carved out, but I think I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, maybe this area right there, which is right in here, I think. Let me get that straightened out a little. And then it could go up and down, or it could go, let's mark. My marks tend to fade away on me. Where's my ink pen? I tend to wipe them out. Uh, where's my gel pen? So I know this mark comes right here like that. And then if I kind of know I'm going to mark this one right to there and this one kind of comes right up at the top. What did I do? I did it. I got it upside down. This has to go over on this side. I need this one, which comes right in here. Right in here. So sort of like that. Let's see how right or wrong I am. And then this one I know by the bottom that it matches up in here. Registration marks. But I tend to wipe them away with my hands. I'm pretty happy with this one. It turned out a lot better than I thought. So this is the double wheat tear. Let's do that again. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to I'm going to leave it. Maybe get a little closer to, to it there. Oh, I keep going higher and higher and higher. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Forgive my ugly look at, well, Anyway, got to play with getting it matched up. Let's try some. Let's try some horizontally. Now I'm just going to leave that out. And... Oh, my chat went away. Let me refresh chat. Hi, Brenda. Welcome, Brenda. Hi, Becky. She gave me a bunch of crochet cotton. I had bought it for her years ago as she said she wasn't going to be doing any more knitting. Becky said, hello, I just got home from visiting Scott's mom and you got a bunch of crochet. Are you going to, what are you going to make, Becky?
Candy said, we did linoleum. Oh, linoleum carving. Angie says, I don't want to go to bed right now. Tammy Jo says, Kathy, I have to give thumbs up first thing or I get involved, <laughs> so involved that I forget. So this is what they call a, a double in, in the stitching at pentangle.com. If you go to their stitch dictionary, of course, you know, this is stamp carving, but this is what they call a double uh, wheat tear. W-H-E-A-T-E-A-R, wheat tear. And it's like a, a, a head of wheat there. I kind of like that. All right, so we're going to leave that one alone. And now let's carve out the, the Algerian eye will be really simple to do. Let me fold up the book here. I keep missing Becky's live. She pops on when I'm not expecting it. <laughs> oh, I think I was watching a movie or something yesterday, Becky, when you came on with your, what did you show? Your thrift haul? You and Scott went to, you, you went to good, a Goodwill? I got to kick out a little Bernadette. Aww. Little Bernadette. Oh, you know, we need the... Uh, did that Algerian eye have a... I think it has a horizontal one. I left it out. Let me check my... Yeah, it has a horizontal. Just a... Oh, I got it in here. Here. I just didn't see it. So these... These are going to be left. Oh, the vertical. Do I have a vertical in there? Let me check my... Ow. I do. I knew I left something out here. This is what I left here, out here. These are, these are left in. And of course, when you're stitching, this is thread. You know, so you start, you go here to here to, you know, it's a very easy stitch to do. And you can do it as a, as a stitch where your threads are all nice and straight, or you can do what they call pulled stitches, where you kind of give a tug on the thread and it pulls the linen open a little and makes a kind of a pretty lacy effect. Now, again, this is just going to be a carved stamp. It's not going to be a perfect looking stitch. But you get the idea. You get the idea. My hands get all gunky. All right, so we're just going to come here. This isn't going to be hard to do at all. Come in there and in here, that carved out. Becky has the best luck with getting yarn. Becky said, I seem to be on a basket kick, thanks to Shannon. <laughs> Aww. I finished my Christmas afghan this weekend. That's what I did yesterday. I have to say though, it's got some I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show it to Mikey. <laughs> um I kind of got some puckers in it. I didn't keep my count up nice. When I went to the grays. And it doesn't look bad. If it's over like a chair. Or something like that. But if you try to put it out flat. It kind of puckers. And I knew better. I am just getting tired. And I, I said I don't care. So I'm not especially proud of my crocheting. But I'm going to start another one. 
uh, I haven't decided what. I was going to do Mooglies, and then I had trouble finding their pattern, but then I finally found it. So um, I'm just debating whether I want to do Mooglies or Jada in Stitches is doing a calendar one where it's just row by row. And it's, it looks like it would be an easy stitch. But she does like, she calls it Fair Isle. She repeats the pattern across in groups of 20. And I think the first January was Snowflakes and February's Hearts. I'm not so sold on the, you know, I'd like birds and I'm not so sold on the designs. I mean, just for the motif, not her designing. I would like to have, like, a bird and what for February? A flower or something. I could do my own, design it in 20, but I don't know. I've got so much other stuff going on. I don't want to pick that up, too. But there's a lot of... There's a lot of Afghan, free Afghan patterns out there. I'll find something. And then I was watching Arnie and Carlos. I want to learn how to use those double-pointed knitting needles that Lori sent me. And, of course, is it Carlos or Arnie that does... And, you know, he it's not... He's just demonstrating, but he goes... You know, <laughs> I'm going, wait, slow down. I didn't catch that. <laughs> and then they said the pattern was free on Rowan. And so I went out there and you, you have to open an account. And I did. And it says download free pattern. And then it puts 15 things in your cart because the pattern's free, but they want you to order the knit, the yarn. And, you know, and I deleted all that. What was I having trouble with? I was having trouble getting my street address in there on my mobile device. Uh, I'll have to try it again. It Because my keyboard took up half my screen. <laughs> and so finally I just said, yeah, I'm moving on. And uh, I did. And then I got an email from them saying, you left something in your car. Did you want that? And I'm going, yeah, I wanted it, but I couldn't quite get it. I mean, if it's a free pattern, why don't they just put a link to it? And they can buy a free pattern out of your cart. It's probably a download anyway. But they want you to buy... They want you to buy the yarn and all the everything else. I don't know. It was nine or ten things they had in the cart when I clicked on it. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'd like to learn how to do fair aisle knitting, but they did mittens. And I wasn't thinking mittens. I was thinking about just doing the pattern. Just as a straight piece. I'm just about done here. Let me get this one carved out. And then I have to do something to the center. So these really kind of meet. But I think I'm just going to carve a, a little circle here. All right, let's see what I have. But now I want to mark this one. Whoops. Oh, that's where I was cutting it. Can't get that off. Ooh, I just tore it, didn't I?
working with this ink gets kind of, my hands get grimy. All right, I just kind of want to mark a, a registration here. And here. And this one needs to be thinned down a little bit more. That wheat one came out better than I thought. This one may not come out as good as I think it'll be. All right, so we got registration points there. And, and even the Sharpies don't, they wipe off of this polymer. All right, let me clean this up. Nigerian eye, Algerian, Algerian eye. I like Algeria. It's a needlework, Ali K. Algerian eye needlework stitch. I did the double wheat tear, which is kind of a or tear, double wheat tear, which kind of is a stiff stitch modified after a wheat head. If you go to pentangle.com and go to their stitch dictionary, um, they have a list of all their stitches. This is listed under double wheat tier, and this one's listed under Algerian eye, which I think I might have to thin these down a little, but let's go ahead and stamp it off and see what I have. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. We should do something fun tonight. What should we do that's fun? <laughs> What's fun to do? All right, let's see. Maybe right about in there. Pull it down a little. Angie says, I am too, Angie. It looks like a fun. It's fun to nap. I'm not going to nap during my stream, Angie. <laughs> you can nap during my stream. That won't hurt my feelings. I'm not going to nap. <laughs> oh, Angie, you're such a funny lady. Angie just, she's, she's got napping on the brain. Oh, this one's not bad either, I don't think. Let's see how it turned out. Well, some of them are kind of thick in there. Let's see if I can thin these down a little. This one. Uh, thin, it, thin it this way a little. And And this one's kind of crooked. Don't know if I did it any good. Well, it didn't look like it because it didn't come out. Oh, and you know what else I did yesterday? I went to Dee Dee's Facebook page. And I just scrolled down. Oh my goodness, that lady. She has art, art, art out there. And I think I went clear back to 2016, I think. I think that's about when she came onto Facebook. Now, let's see how that looks. Yeah, 
It's fun to nap, Angie says. Hi, Kathy Whitney. Such unique ideas to make them based on stitches. Yeah, just think I could do a sampler. <laughs> uh, I'll have to show you guys the little, I showed it. Uh, let me do this. I'll show you the the sampler, the little mini stamp uh, sampler that I stitched for week one. Let me show that to you. Hold on. I put it in my journal here. Right at the front. Hold on, I'm going to have a craft a lunch. Right on top. I don't even have to touch it. The little, let me hold it up to the camera so you guys can see it. This is week one of uh, Pentangles um challenge 2023 challenge and they give it's called tasts take a stitch tuesday and the top one is for beginners and it's just a running stitch i don't want to touch it with my hands and then the bottom the second one is a stitch called uh, i knew a u n i it's pronounced i knew and it's was started by uh, indigenous people over in Japan. And then that was kind of for intermediate. And then they're doing a design challenge. And they said, just do a design using linear stitches. And I, I used the back stitch for everything on this tat, except for I did just straight little stitches in there for the threads. And then I just repeated my I knew and running stitch. And then here's my wheat tear, except it's got a, it's got a little thread on it here or something. Get it off of there with my dirty hands. Come on. This is the wheat tear. And it, this is 31 count. And I think I was using two threads. That's really, I, I should have gone to one one thread instead of two. But see, it kind of looks like a wheat, the top of a wheat. But the, what it is, what this is, let me sit down again. And I think um, they're, they're doing, every Tuesday they put out a new challenge based off of the stitches and the stitch dictionary. And I think I'm just going to do little mini samplers. Um, this is January 2nd here, but I'm just going to put them in my February because I have February out. But the wheat chair, I was explaining, it's just a V stitch and another V stitch. And then you come down here and then this is a lazy daisy stitch. A lazy, a day, a, you know, a, a lazy daisy stitch. Is that what they call it? And then they repeat that same thing here, another V and another V, and then another daisy, lazy daisy stitch. I cut, whoops, I'm out of frame. Sorry about that. Let me get in frame. <laughs> it looked in frame to me. Let me pull it down a little. Hold on. Okay, a V stitch, a V stitch, a lazy daisy, a daisy chain, daisy chain. And then another V, and another V, and then another daisy chain. And it makes looks like a wheat stitch. Julie is new to my channel. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie West. Welcome, welcome. I think she's in Vib Diggity. I think, aren't you, Julie? I think I, didn't we approve you? You're familiar to me. I've seen you someplace before. Maybe I saw you in some other streams let me get back down here and frame i'm done uh i'm done carving let me do some more playing with the algerian eye here uh maybe clean it up a little but i'm not going to worry about it too much in here so what can we do that's fun Oh, I wanted to draw. 
I guess I could do some uh, envelopes. I, I told Brenda Robinson, who was in here, I don't know if she's out there lurking, um, that I do a lion. And I told uh, Leah that I would do a bear. You are here, Brenda? Shall we do the lion? So this is fun to do. So maybe as we do different stitches, if they're carvable, I could do them on the back here too. I've just ha been having fun with the carving. I missed carved December. Let me clean my hands a little and zoom out so you guys can. All the envelopes and postcards have been sent, have been mailed out. I even mailed the moose out. I had to hold the moose until I got the address. And I got the address and I mailed out the moose when I mailed out some of my bills. <laughs> uh, Posh won the moose. Yeesh. Hi, Kellyanne. Hi, Sharon. Yeah. Angie says, Mary, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Sweet dreams, Angie. You just take care of yourself when you're tired, and that goes for any of you. I know you guys lead busy lives. You know, it, it doesn't bother me if you have to <laughs> doze off a little. Yeah. I need to really clean this whole kitten caboodle here. This isn't getting it very clean. All right. I kind of got the top grime off of my hands. Sharon is here. Let's go look for a lion. In, in uh, Unsplash. That's where I've been getting them. And let me find my envelopes. This all started because I wanted to learn how to use the comment picker. But they're fun to do. They're fun to do. Becky was teaching me how to use it. All right, let me get rid of all my notifications. Clear. And we want to go to Unsplash. Unsplash. I think I can find it in history. If I get to one here. Let me do a new one. And let me look in history. History should be here someplace. Let me go to Wikipedia and go to history. All right. Uh, close up of a elephant's wrinkle. 500 plus elephant pictures. Okay, we're in. Okay, we want to go to lions. L I O N. Now I'm thinking a lion with the mane. I'm thinking a male lion, uh, not a female lion. I'm thinking a big old lion. L I O M. <laughs> uh, am I? Yeah. Make something awesome. Huh. Oh, I misspelled it. And go. Ooh. There's his nose. And They're saying hi out there to Kathy and Kelly and Candy and Sharon. Brenda says, I will be in and out because I will be putting my grandson to bed. That's perfectly okay. Boy, there are a lot of good lion pictures here. Look at this guy. Ooh. I'll gobble you down. Oh, he's in black and white. Aw, 
There's a white one. He's pretty. Now I've got down to eye stock. Lions make a great subject. What, um, are you picky? Can I just pick one? Do you care? I'm just going to do the headshot. Anything you want. You pick is fine. Okay. Well, I'm liking this one because it's in black and white and I'm drawing it with a pen drawing. So let me download this one. Open. Gallery. And I usually have to swipe it, but to get rid of that menu. I have a lot of trouble getting rid of the menu. there so I'm going to put you guys to the side it is 7 30 so we've got plenty of time to do some animals and I actually like doing animals that are not pets because pets have such a personality that you guys identify with you know anybody have a pet lion let me put him up on the. Now I'm I'm zoomed in on him. And your art is the envelope. When you get these, don't try to open them up because it is empty. I'm not putting anything inside of it. So his face is actually a diamond shape it's actually a diamond shape and his mane comes way out this way and it it does come out further it comes you know way out so let's just and i found i have better luck if i sketch in an outline and get my composition in there and then go back in and fill in the details. So this is the left side of his face coming down this way. And this is right about where his eye goes. And then he's got this here, right up in here where his mane starts going out. And then it comes down this way, sort of, and down this way, and kind of goes in like that. Now I can, do I need to zoom in? Uh, maybe I could come down a little with my drawing. Let's see what you guys are seeing. I haven't done much work on him yet. Well, you're seeing it pretty good. Let's tip my camera a little. That's zoomed in. Melody says, I had a friend that had a pet lion. It, its name was Samson, and he kept it at the, his house. He fed it steaks. <laughs> I would feed my lion steaks too. Don't eat me, I'll get you a steak. <laughs> All right. So his eyes, he's got a real wide nose. And his eyes are kind of off to the side of the head here. So his, let's just kind of put in where his nose is going to be here. And way over here. And then he's kind of got those little eyebrows in there, too. Can you guys see? Yeah, you can kind of see the picture, the camera. 
He's kind of got those eyebrows coming up there. Kind of like so with the mane. And then his eye. I seem to always start with the left eye. And animal's eyes are always rounder than our eyes. And they seem to feel more of the eye socket than ours. You know, we get that white. This this lion has, look, there's no white in his eye. It's all dark. So his eyeball fills the entire socket there. And he's got a pupil, though. And his eyes, well, this is black and white, so it's gray. We're not going, I'm not going to put any color on him. And see, he's got kind of got that white marking. Can you guys see this? Yeah, you can kind of see the white marking where his, his, I want to say it's almost an eyebrow. But I kind of think that's a bone structure in there. I don't know. I've never really, <laughs> I never really petted a lion's eyes up there to find out whether that's a, a bone in there or if that's just fur. But it, I know it's kind of furry up in there. And and he does have an eyelid. So he's he's got an eyelid just like a human does. In there. And then he's got this real wide nose. And this will this tonal value will be shaded in. Now he's also got a white marking his eyes real dark in here and this will be shaded and it comes down this way but he's got a white area right underneath of his eye right under there he's got a white area and then it's all dark in it's, it's really fur short fur Kind of like so. And then his forehead, he's got this dark area in here that kind of comes down in a, I don't know what to call it, kind of a vase, like V-A-S-E, vase. It's like a little vase area in there. And then he's got dark hair coming up in here. And then that goes on into his, his mane comes way out in there. And then, but he did, his head does actually come and come up like this. We don't want to miss that. And then it kind of, it's kind of like a diamond shape. And then he's got, uh, his nose, his nose is really kind of shaped by the lines on his face. It's got kind of a dark area going across his nose, coming across to the other eye. Oh, let's see, he's got it. Mm -hmm. So his other eye kind of comes I want to get it in there right. Right in here maybe. And then his his face comes almost down. It's real slender in there. And then it comes out like that. Now, is that eye too small compared to this one? Make it a little bigger. And it's dark. Let me go in on it. And his pupil is right in here. 
Oops. Might have to put a little white in there. So his nose, the bridge of his nose is right in here. This dark line comes down this way. Kind of comes out that way. And it comes around, down. Kind of fans out down here. He almost looks like human there, doesn't he? I've got to put some shading in there. It's driving me nuts. It's a little bit of shading in there. And then it's it's dark in here. And that nose comes out. It almost looks human. I got I've got it wide though. See, he's got a white area under this eye. It kind of comes that way. Nose comes in here. Now, I think, I think we're seeing the shape of his ear in here. I think that's the shape of his ear. So I see the same thing over here. So it kind of gets darkish in here. And we just kind of see a dark shape in there. I think that might be his ear. And it kind of comes down like this. And I might have, I might have his chin a little too long. We'll see. It kind of comes down like so. Like that. And then I think his chin is a little shorter. Now he's starting to look more like a lion to me. And then he's got a dark kind of a cheek area in here. And then his mane starts curving around. And you see his whisker marks in there. Kind of come down like that and on the other side. And his nose is all dark. All right, and then under his chin.
and all dark up in here. And Paulo's all the way up there. Yeah, he's starting to look like a lion to me. He almost looked human in a in a bit when I did his eyes. Um, I think he's got a little bit more expression here than when I have him. And he kind of comes down like that. And he's got this area in here that's shaded. Like that. And then a real light shade going on in there. And in here. And then kind of some shading going off in here. I don't have this area. That I might be maybe closed a little bit more than what I have. This is dark in here. I'm not watching chat while I'm doing this. Okay, he's got a real dark, I think it's just kind of defining his ear up in here. It's just kind of like a shadow. It's very dark in there. And then it's got mane coming out like that and kind of comes around. Let me take a break and look at chat. Sometimes if I take my eyes off of it for a minute, I see things that... <laughs> Let me go down to the bottom here. Let me refresh my chat. Hold on. Live chat. Candy says, Mary, the lion looks awesome. You're off the bed. Transfusions tomorrow. Oh, blessings, Candy. Our, our hearts and thoughts go with you. Thank you for saying that about my lion. 
Julie said, I couldn't draw in school, so I can't draw now either. Well, you do where your talent is. Like, I don't have the talent some other people do, but don't let that stop you. Even if you draw stick figures, you know, you're still having fun with stick figures. Stick figures can be fun. But good night, Candy. Best wishes for tomorrow. Our thoughts will go with you. Hi, Beth Schuler. There's Beth Schuler. Brenda says, be well, Candy. Brenda says, hi, Beth. Hi, Beth Schuler. I'm drawing a lion for Brenda tonight. The wildcats and humans are predators with forward-facing eyes. Prey have eyes on the side of their heads. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting, Brenda. Let me get a sip of water. I had, what did I have that made me thirsty? I didn't eat supper tonight. What did I have earlier? Oh, I had some Fritos. for. I snacked on Fritos this afternoon. It made me thirsty. I have a big jug of water. <laughs> I didn't eat very good tonight. There's some celery stocks in the refrigerator. I might munch on those after the stream. I like celery and peanut butter. Tommy Joe says, good night, Mary and all. Oh, good night, Tommy Joe. She's probably gone. My son has to have retinal surgery soon. So until then, I am the early bird that needs to drive him to work. Ew, 5 a.m. is early for this girl. <laughs> Aw, Tommy Joe. I think she's gone, but Candy says, just practice, Julie. That's all it takes. Yep. Uh, Julie said, I'm not good at drawing. I'm rubbish at drawing. Well, you go where, you know, uh, I'm, uh, I, I am too, to tell you the truth. If you put me up against people like Dee Dee and Kathy Arbor, you know, I don't measure up. But you, 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 you start where you are. And, uh. And here's another thing, like when I look at this photo here, which I'm going to have to turn my phone back on. If I look at the photo and look at my drawing, it looks bad to me. But if I, if I don't look at the photo and just look at my lion and I'm going, well, that looks like a lion. So we tend to want it make so realistic, you know, that isn't the object. For me, the object is to develop my skill, but also to, it's an art. It's not, if I wanted it to look like a photo, I'd get out a camera and snap a picture like they did. So, they're saying hello to Beth and good night to Candy. Let's see, Julie, Brenda says, I'll bet the white of their eyes would expose them in the wild. Not great for hunting. That's probably true. That's probably true. And I would, you know, well, different animals have different eyesight, you know. Some animals don't have good eyesight and some have really, you know, like birds have really good eyesight. Um, you know, hawks and that. But um, I know when I had that cataract surgery, went just reading about the structure of our eyes and where the cornea is and the pupil and where the the lens is and, you know, reading how, and it just fascinates me. And, uh, you know, just think of the animals. Uh, well, this, uh, this lion has a pupil. I wonder if animals get cataracts. <laughs> Uh, Becky had to go to bed. Becky said, I got to go, you all. Tomorrow's a long day for us. Enjoy. So sweet dreams to Becky. She's probably already gone, but... Riri, hi, Riri. Uh-oh, Dean created a reserve with a thousand acres. Not in a flipping house. <laughs> oh, dear. Melody said, I have a friend that had a pet lion. I think I'm caught up with you guys. K 
Kathy says, oh yes, slow stitching tonight. Is that what you're doing, Kathy? You're slow stitching? Kathy, did you see my slow stitching that I did? I showed it here today. My, my uh, little mini sampler. I'm going to do one of these every week. This is week one. This is from Tentangle.com. They have a stitch dictionary. And what they do is they pull a, they pull a, a beginner stitch for beginners and an intermediate stitch for intermediate. And then for the more advanced, they give you a design challenge. And so the running stitch and then the second one, which you probably don't see very well, uh, is what I called an Ainu stitch. It was really interesting kind of looking up the meaning. Of it. It's spelled A-U-N-I, but it's spelled, it's pronounced Ainu. And that's Japanese um, origin. And then there, there's my little tap that I put in here. And then the wheat tear here, the double wheat, I say tear, it's T-E-A-R. Slow stitching, yeah. All right, well, let's get to work on this. I wanna, maybe I'll have time if I finish this up, I'll have time to do um, Leah's. I don't think Leah's here tonight. Has anybody seen Leah? Hi, Renee. She's lurking. She's mostly only able to listen. Okay, Renee. We won't expect you to talk to us. <laughs> I was going to do faces tonight, but I'm happy doing animals. This is a face. It's just not a human face. The thing about these lions is they have the, all of this mane. All of his mane in here. Now, I think the shape of his other ear, there's one here, and I think the other one is kind of, it, it's just a dark shape in here. And that's just what I'm going to do is a dark shape. And you just see a bit of it. And then it's got all this fur around it. Renee... Renee sent me um, two bottles of, of uh, art glitter glue, uh, the refill, and she sent me two, two jars of Yes Paste. I'll have enough Yes Paste to last me until, <laughs> until YouTube decides they aren't going to stream anymore which means forever <laughs> now there's fur in here i just don't have it in there and it's really dark up in here it gets real dark in there and then his face, his face, I think, gets more narrow than what I have it. So let's kind of bring this. And his chin.
uh, filling in this, uh, all of this mane here really helps define him, doesn't it? And of course, it's it needs to be a little more trained in here, but we'll get there. I have to almost turn my paper to do this in here. Now he's got these little shadow lines in here, but when I start doing the the water, that'll that'll put in a lot more of the shading. And just remember, this is just pen and ink. This is just pen and ink, so. It isn't like I'm getting a lot of tonal values with charcoal. Who was it? Christy Biddleson was doing a water-soluble graphite drawing. Really did a good job. And his mouth kind of comes down here and he's got some kind of shadow going on and right under his lip there kind of a little around the and then he has white whiskers that I can't you know I can't define them here they're just going to have to be black and then he's got these kind of defining his nose area in here kind of a little round roundish marks in there and I think this eye kind of comes I don't want to mess it up. I don't quite have it in here. We're drawing cat fur. I think I'll smooth that out with water in there. I don't want to mess it up. Let's go and do this. So this kind of comes down like so. And then it's real dark in here. The same way over in here.
I might have to get out a new pen. I feel like I'm losing my, is this the tan? Yeah, I think I'm using up all the ink here. Is he looking like a lion? Is he looking like a lion? And some more dark area in here. Kind of coming down. And it gets real dark in here again. Oops. However you do that. I want to leave a room for a signature in there. Well, I think I'm ready to get out some water, and that will give them a lot of tonal value in here, too. Let's get out some water. It's fun to do this. What are you guys talking about out there? Brenda says, my male cat looks like a lion. Also part coon. Riri says, yep, like the wheat and the tear in the Bible. Yeah. Maybe I should send you a pin for picking an animal. Oh, um, that's okay, Brenda. Uh, Sherry Van sent me three packages. So I really have plenty. But thank you for thinking of me. That's quite all right. I've been using that pen on all the other drawings, too. It just, it's, it's being used it's getting its use i'll get out some more let's see i keep dropping my paint brushes and i want a towel oops all right you guys can still see them right put this water up in here so let's start with some of the dark area up in here and just kind of start darkening it in. Kind of frames them off a little. And in here, up in here.
Now, I don't want to get that too dark. I want shadow in there, but I don't want it to look so dark that it... isn't what I want. And through that, I think this kind of forms this other ear up in here. This whole area up in here. And this kind of all goes into shadow. dark underneath of his chin. I don't want to get it too dark in the wrong places. Right, right there. It's the wrong place. Can't change it. Now, if I spent hours and hours and hours, I'd have a lot more detail than what I have. But I think I've, I think I've got him down pretty good here. I think I'm going to give him some whites in his eyes because I see white in it gleams in his eyes there. But. There 
area in here. You just don't want to mess it up. And this is a lot darker in there. Need some dark in there. Oops, and he got, he gets away from me here. I stare at that pic that photograph too much and I worry about it. I just say it's it is what it is. He's got some definite lines going on in here. And then it's a little bit shady in here. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to, let's quit looking at the picture. I think I'm going to, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with him. He's not perfect. If I did him again, he'd probably look a lot different. But you know what? The thing is, you're just going to, that's the way it is with drawing. I think I'm about ready to call him done here. Let me sign him and we'll let him dry while I'm doing the, the bear. And then we'll wax him with Daddy Vans. Brenda, do I have your address? Do I, Brenda Robinson, do I have your address? Oh, hold on. I'm getting out of it here. Come on. Aw, oh, thank you. You posted him, Beth. He looks like a little lion. Riri says, I ate too much. <laughs> Riri. <laughs> good night, Kathy Cow. Good night, good night. He's not perfect. There's a parts of him that I don't like. Like this here. Uh. I, I think I need to work more on animal mouths. I didn't really like my wolf mouth e either. But he, he looks like a lion. Uh, his mane, you know, you could sit and draw this animal fur all night and still not get it. Here, let me type it in, Brenda. Hold on. It's in the cut and paste. Hold on. Let me put it in there. And be sure you put the dot, Mary dot, atelier. 
Atelier. T H E dot M E R I dot A T E L I E R at gmail dot com. Good night, Kathy. Beth said all fur baby pictures are accepted. Are you sending in a, a let's see, Teresa said, Hi, Beth. Yes, Teresa's new doggy looks like a lion. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. Teresa said he said he saw the Reaper Death Angel three times before he died. My male cat looks like a lion, also part coon. Uh, the wheat and the tear in the Bible, Riri says. Okay, I think I'm caught up with you guys. Teresa, it's good to see you tonight. All right. So Leah's not here, so I'm just going to pick a bear. Uh, she said, would you draw me a bear? Let's see, I wanted to sign it here. Uh, I've been signing it with this permanent pen. So. And today's the 5th, 2, 5, 20, 23. And you know what I'm going to do here? Let's spread out, spread out this. Let's kind of frame him out with the marks a lot here. That'll make him pop a little more too. Let's put a border on this page. Yeah, it's pretty easy just to pop these envelopes. If I have your address, it'll go out tomorrow when my brother goes to the post office. I still owe Teresa a uh, Coca-Cola, or uh, what is it, Coca-Cola? Little, and I still got happy mail from three, four, five years ago to send. I haven't forgotten you, Teresa. <laughs> She says, I'll bet. There we go. This kind of makes him pop a little bit more on the page. There he is. We're going to call him done. Teresa says, I know, Mary. Hi, Leah. You are here. Okay, well, let's pick a bear for Leah. We're going to do your bear tonight, Leah. I said, what can we do for fun? What can we do for fun? Brenda said, you can draw my lion. I'll take a lion, please. No, I think I said that. Let's draw the lion and the... I can't remember how it happened. So, Leah, I think I have your address, don't I? I think you want a postcard or something. Didn't you send me your address? I think I have it. Let me do my hand sanitizer thing again here. Yeah, okay. You can draw my dog. He looks like a lion. Are you going to draw it in Brenda, in Beth's group? Send me the picture. The thing about drawing pets, though, you guys, I, I've noticed this just since I've been doing these em, em, envelopes. You go ahead and send me a picture of your dog, Teresa. I may not get it done tonight, but I'll put it on the to-do list. <laughs> and we have been getting through these pretty fast. What I think I've done almost 10 animal drawings in the last week or so. You will send? Okay, thank you, Leah. Oh, it must have been a mirror that I'm thinking of. Let's go get let's go get some bears for Leah. Leah, my address is above. My email address is above. I typed it in there. Let's uh, let's go out here to unsplash and type in bears. 
Uh, does it, what type of bear, Leah, do you want? There's brown bears and black bears and polar bears. B-E-A-R. Let me bring the chat up here so I can see what she's saying. I posted him in Beth's group. Oh, okay. Whoops. Live chat. I thought you could pick the type of bear. I love all bears. Okay, well, let's see. There's a lot of cool bears. Now, I'm not doing this as an eye stock photo. They have watermarks on it. It makes me a little queasy. <laughs> Look at that bear. <laughs> he's just, he's a, he's had too much to eat. There's a polar bear. There's a bear who's going to eat you. This is a cool picture of a face. Might come back to that one. Here's a black bear. Boy, that would use my ink pen for sure, wouldn't it? There's another polar bear. It's like a brown bear. Boy, look at his claws. Ooh. I'd hate to be whacked by one of those bears. There's a standing bear. Oh. A running bear. A polar bear. He's running. Polas. Polar bear. Ooh. Look at him. Ooh. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be bitten by that bear. Polar bear. Sharon says, good night, all. Good night, Sharon Lombard. I still have your little Santa Claus. I think I'm going to paint one of these ladies for Sharon Lombard. I don't like the lady that I did for her. Um, this not, you know, and if you don't, if you aren't comfortable with what you do, you know, send it some butt to somebody. Keep it. <laughs> Don't send it off if you don't. Nobody else is going to like it if you don't. It's posted in Beth's group. Okay. Well, we're going to do Leah's bear here. I'm going to be here until 10 o'clock tonight. So we might go over to Beth's and look at your... Let's see. Bear. Oh, the polar bears are pretty. I kind of like this one here. He's got a, a full face. He's got brown in there. His eyes, his eyes are, oh, you know, I was going to put some white. What did I do with it? <laughs> Yikes. Yikes stripes, what did I do with the <laughs> what did I do with the lion? See, I do these things. What did I do with him? Did I put him over here? Yeah. Let's put a little white in him while I'm in his eyes while I'm thinking of it. Because I kind of like the white. Now see, I I kind of happy with this lion. After if I don't compare him to the photograph, I'm okay with him. We need a little bit more white. And some white in there. <laughs> I don't know if that makes it. Yeah, you guys can see where I put the white. I kind of like this bear, and you, and uh, you're seeing him, you're seeing him. Is this in here? My camera light, my ca my phone has a light on it, and it's really whoops, it's really showing this a lot lighter. Well, I keep pointing at it. It's showing this area in here a lot lighter than it is. It's really a tannish brown in there. There's a little white in there. 
and this is kind of tannish brown. I think I'm liking this bear. Do you like this one, Leah? Should we do this one? It's got he's got a nice shaped face. He's got good ears. <laughs> let's download him. Uh, let's credit it to Becca. Becca. <laughs> All right. Open. Yeah, if you send it to me, I'll get these out in the mail tomorrow if I have your address. Gallery. Gallery. And then I'm going to swipe it one. Swipe it. And I, I always have better luck with the ones I swipe. Now, I think I'm in my, I can't, I have a hard time getting rid of that. There. Okay, I'm going to set you guys aside. We're going to do this bear. I like the shape of his face. I like the composition. of him we might have to be happy with the white border so he is very roundish he's got a very round face the lion had the lion had a very diamond shaped face this bear has a very roundish his nose his nose is long but he's got a very roundish face and his ears you know the the lion's ears kind of well they were kind of hidden in all the fur but you can see where they're kind of uh almost triangular shape his the bear's ears are pretty little he almost looks like a teddy bear <laughs> he almost looks like a teddy bear all right, so one thing I like to do, and I find that when I do these envelopes, it really helps me to get a sense of how he's going to fit on the page just by doing kind of marking off the where he's where he's fitting. And maybe in here and his ears here and over here and then he's got kind of the back the behind here all right so his head kind of is in there comes down and then he kind of has his face but then you can kind of see the side of his face coming off here too it's kind of like a double whammy <laughs> and kind of the same thing going on here and then kind of roundish like that now his eyes this is almost the principle of humans almost the same principle as for humans his head is very round but his eyes is kind of like a third of the way down or almost almost a half way down maybe not quite half if you come this way a little over half if you go from the bottom up so kind of that same way how you mark they mark off a human's face where the eyes start he's got a big forehead so if his ears are here his eyes are going to be somewhere down in here. Let me expand him. And. And his eyes are a little bit closer together. Let me just kind of make some marks where I think they might be. I have to move them in there. His nose is almost 
like a box almost. Comes down this way and in here. Kind of shaped like like that. His eyes are, actually his eye socket, if you could see this any further, his eye socket, there's kind of skin around there, and his eyeball is kind of hidden way down in there. And it's real dark. And then you get all this fur around in here. And you get dark fur coming to the ridge of the nose there. Kind of going up. And then the other eye is over in here. I tend to make one eye bigger than the other. I don't know why. And I think that's pretty good. And we got that nose area here. And it's kind of grayish around the eye. Gray area like that. And kind of dark under this side too. And then the nose kind of comes down like this. Now his eye is, his eye is very dark. I can't stand a white eye. I have to go in and fill him in. We're going to leave some little white specks there. And he's real dark around his eyes. But he does have kind of a eye socket going there. And then he has all this fur. And the fur, the fur kind of comes down into a, to a point. Like so. Uh, well, it kind of goes up into a point. Like that. So this is all dark. And this is all dark. And then he's very furry. He's very furry. Now. Let's see. His shadow kind of defines his face. It's very dark in here. See, when you put it down, see how dark it is in there? And then it gets light in there, and it's dark up in there. So that kind of defines his face, even though it's fur. If I can do that. Comes way down.
He's got some big nostrils going on in there. And it's all dark underneath of his nose. And then his mouth kind of comes. And you almost see his lip in here. You almost see a lip. I don't think I can expand it. But right in there, you can almost see a lower lip. He looks kind of human, too. <laughs> Let's put some dark around his eye. And then his fur starts going this way, coming down. And it starts making that round shape of his face. And it's really dark in here. And And then in here, right in here, it kind of breaks the round and kind of comes down that way. Whoops, I wanted to I wanted to do that to my envelope. It kind of breaks that round and kind of falls off down in here, like so. And comes down into his neck neck area now his his chin we don't want to mess that up his chin is there and this is all kind of darkish coming down this way uh, And then there's this dark area up in here. I'll kind of define that. And he's starting to look like a bear. And his ear here. That's all dark in there. And there's another ear here.
And he's got a little bit of a light highlight on this ear. Well, he does on this one, too. It's a little bit of a highlight up here. It's really dark in here, dark in there. Now, I got in his eyes, I've got a little bit more expression in his eyes than are in here. Just, I, I guess I, I guess he, I guess he needs some expression going on in there. I don't know. Come this way. Out this way. And this ear is all dark. Fuzzy. And then he's got fur coming up way out here. And then it's all dark in here. Dark underneath of his chin. I think his nose is a little more square than I have it. A little more squarish. A little bit more defined.
Let me take a break and look at chat. Whoops. Look at chat. Let me take a break here. What's going on in chat? He's amazing. Well, he's getting there. He's not quite there yet, but he's getting there. Aw, you guys are, maybe he just wants a bear hug. Aw. Aw, thank you, Leah. Brenda said, another predator with the eyes in the front. That's true, Brenda. You're very observant. Teresa's going up in the balcony. That's okay. I I have a, a reserved seat up in the balcony in a lot of the chats. Teresa, I understand completely. And if any of you need to go to bed, you I'm going to be on until 10. I'll probably get the bear done tonight. Um, you put that, your Teresa put her dog in uh, Beth Schuler's group. Are you guys going to draw him any specific night or you just put it up there for, for reference? I'm going to say I could come, I could come draw him with you, but I can't, I can't come on StreamYard because my, my technology doesn't work with StreamYard. My phones, they, <laughs> they buzz. All right, what else is going on here? I thought you could pick the type of bear. I post him in Beth's group. Okay. All righty. Riri said, it's an odd thing, Teresa, but I believe we see stuff we couldn't while alive. Huh. What are you guys talking about? He said he saw the Reaper Death Angel three times before he died. Oh, are you talking about, I had to explain that one to my honey. Let, let's see. Let me see. Let me go up here. Tear is cry, right. I think it's wheat tear, T-E-A-R. I don't think it's tear, T-A-R-E. I think it's tear, T-E-A-R, -E wheat tear. Uh, Teresa says, but I might want to cry. Beautiful line of the jungle. Dawn, Dawn, if you're out there, Dawn the Crafty Visage, I miss saying hello to you if you're out there lurking. <laughs> Renee is lurking. She says, mostly only able to listen tonight. I miss saying hello to Dawn. I can't scroll up any higher. Sharon. I think Sharon had to leave. Teresa says, hi, Kathy. Riri says, exactly, Teresa. Isn't it a part of the wheat? My dog looks like a lion. Brenda says, maybe I should send you, no. Uh, like wheat and tear in the Bible. I don't know if tear and tear are the same. Like the reaper. My male cat looks like a lion, part coon. He said he saw the reaper, death angel, three times before he died. Are you talking about your hubby? Teresa's new dog looks like a lion. One day, I'll go on and show him to you all. Teresa, will you post him in the group? And she did. My mother saw her aunt. You know, I kind of believe there's something to that because my mom was in a nursing home uh, here in Nebraska. She lived with me, and then I went down to Kentucky to work on a contract, and uh, my brother put her in a nursing home in Nebraska, and I would call her. And one time on the phone, she was talking to me. Now, you have to remember, my mom had dementia. Uh, Alzheimer's and it got progressively worse but on the phone she looked up and she said uh, who's that lady in white now I'm sure she probably saw a nurse but I think she said and is that Aunt Molly well Aunt Molly was the one who raised her so it kind of uh, you know and I was talking to her on the phone I couldn't see so 
Uh, I, I do think people are kind of gifted right before they die. Um, and I do believe angels will come and, and, you know, accompany you to the good place. If that's where you're going. <laughs> I'm not going to get into where you're going. I don't know. Yeah, that's between you and God. Mary's finished work is always awesome. Oh, Riri, you're sweet. Watching it come into view is great fun. It is fun, isn't it? It's fun for me. Sometimes, not all the times, I seem to do better with animals. Well, I do good with some humans, you know. Um, humans have such a personality. You know, animals, we can kind of make animals an animal, you know. <laughs> and pets, pets are a little harder because you love your pet and you know your pet. You live with your pet and pets are a little bit harder for me to do. Animals, you know, wild animals are kind of easy. Uh, you can draw my dog. He looks like a lion, polar bear. He looks like a polar bear. Her dog looks like a polar bear. Another predator with eyes in the front. I'm late, but I'm late, but I made it. Hi, Mina. You made it, Mina. Mina, I think that that wolf has a silly grin on his face. I'm sorry. I, I'm i almost tempted to do another wolf for you, Mina. Uh, <laughs> I still owe you uh, a um, tassel. I wanted to do you a tassel, too. Well, you'll get it eventually someday, and you'll get your little carving someday, too. Mina, I carved, um, I carved stitches tonight. I did a, a double wheat tear and the Algerian eye. And Nina, I did, uh, I'll show you here, uh, Pentangle. I posted in the group. Pentangle uh, has this stitch that they're in. Not this is my tat stitch. But in here, they're doing, they call it uh, Take a Stitch Tuesday. Every Tuesday, they're going to introduce a stitch out of their stitch dictionary and they have a beginner an intermediate and then for the advanced they they give you a design challenge and the design challenge for week one was design uh, and stitch something linear so this is all back stitch back stitch is a linear stitch and so i did the running stitch and this is called the you know i know I know stitch. I know stitch. And uh, it's from Japanese origin. People I I I indigenous to Japan. So I did that. And then I had already chosen this double wheat tear in here. So I decided I wanted to stamp them. And so here they are. Um, so when I pick, when I pick a, what did I do with it? A, uh, I don't know what I did with it. I'm doing that sampler here. Every month, like in January, I did the Algerian eye here. This is the Algerian eye. I don't know how well you can see it. This is going to be, have 12 rows in it. And it's all going to be done with this gold. And then for this month in February, this is this double wheat tear. So every month when I pick one of these, I'm going to carve a stamp. And I'm picking these just what I like to do or what I think I can do on here. So I'm having fun with that. It's kind of a small project I can do. You saw the posting and sub to it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that doing that little, you know, just picking a stitch and putting it on a little piece like that, it, it, but that's 32 count. I had to, I had to stretch my eyes. I ordered some, some, uh, higher count fabric that, I mean, like 20 count, 16 count fabric. It's a little bit easier on my old eyes. You love watching me carve the stamps, Leah? That was fun. Well, I think I'm 
chatted out. It's good to see you, Mina. Me, Mina. Mina. <laughs> Mina says, I don't crochet or knit, but I love embroidery. I'll bet you do some beautiful things, too. I'll bet you do some beautiful things, Mina. So I'm, I'm getting me a little collection of carved stamps here. I've got the light bulb, the tat stitch. I've got the hashtag. Now I've got the the wheat and the Algerian eye. All right, let's go back to the... I'm going to put you guys over here to the side because I'm only going to be on until 10 Central tonight. So let's finish up this lion. So Or not the lion, the bear. <laughs> I'm a bear, Mary. I'm not a lion. <laughs> now, he has a lower lip in here. He has a definite lower lip. It's kind of dark in here. It's got a definite, defined lower lip. And all of this is in here. His, his, it comes down like that, and it's really dark underneath of his chin here. And his mouth, his mouth kind of comes down, comes down like that. It has some lines there. And then it kind of curves up a little in here. There, that's starting to get it in there. And in here, and then it's dark going down this way. a lot of what i'm doing here is just scribbling i mean filling in this dark area in here is really just kind of of course the direction of your scribbles make a difference especially on that lion mina did you see the lion what did i do with the lion <laughs> i keep miss keep uh I covered him up with a sampler. See, the direction of these lines really defined the mane. He was fun to do. I need to wax him yet tonight, and then I'll add dress him tomorrow. We'll give the Daddy Vans a chance to dry. Okay. So, let's see. I was doing this ear up in here. This is kind of fun. I I need to do this more. I enjoy doing this. I enjoy doing the animals. Now, we made a list of other things we could do, like hats. I like the idea of doing hats and... Uh, what else do we have a whole list? You guys gave me a lot of great ideas of things I could do. And of course, I'll ask you what you want to see. Hats, hats might be a little... We'll have to go get some images and you can tell me which one you want. Okay, now this ear gets a little darker in here too. We might have to do Teresa's dog. I don't think I'm going to... Tomorrow's Monday. Uh, I probably will not come on tomorrow. Uh, some Mondays I'm awake and alert enough, but I'm kind of tired tonight. I'll probably sleep in tomorrow. But Tuesday morning, maybe I'll do Teresa's dog. I've got to do some other things, too. But... I enjoy doing these animals. I enjoy doing them on the envelope. I can just plop the envelope in the mail. I can just plop the envelope in the mail. I feel like doing Mina's wolf all over again, though. I, I, I cringe when I think about his chin his mouth okay so now the wolf I mean the wolf the bear has 
He's really kind of all dark in here. A little bit lighter in there. And then his hair, his hair really defines the shape of the head here. And it kind of comes out into a, a point like that. And I have some no. And then he has also a defined highlight going on up here. A little defined highlight area. Around his ear. And he gets darker again down in here. And this is where he starts showing some bulk in here. I don't want to get too dark in there.
it's really dark in here. I'm afraid to touch this area too much in there. I'm afraid I'll mess it up. The nose I could touch a little more. Make it a little darker. And I'll be shading that in a little. The eyes are darker. All of this is darker in here. But this area in here is too white. Dark area. It's, I need to emphasize the roundness of his head. He's very roundish. Oops. And this area is kind of shady.
All right, let's give him some tonal value. And see what happens. Uh, I got his eyes. His eyes are much, much darker than that. I almost have too much expression in his eye. <laughs> He's very... Let's just make this area in here kind of fade into the background. Up in here. I don't want to give him black eyes. That's what I'm afraid of doing. Although he has black eyes. <laughs> he says, I'm a bear, Mary, not a human. He's really much darker down in here than I have him. Where's my towel? Now, he has a lot more lines than I have in there. But, I mean, you could sit here all night and put in his fur.
I like this area to be a little darker in here and under his chin. And it kind of comes up there. <laughs> oh, dearie me. See, he doesn't have any white in his eyes, and I'm wanting to put white in his eyes. I don't have any white in my eyes, Mary. I don't quite have this area. I don't know. I'm getting to the point where I think I'm I'd be better off if I quit. I'm not sure I like it. I see so much that I want it to look like the photograph. I want it to look just like the photograph. Not a gonna happen, Mary. It's not a gonna happen. I want to touch that nose, but I'm afraid to. Up in here. And this area in here is much darker, but whoops.
I'm afraid to touch those eyebrows too, too much with the pen and the ink. But they're almost too white. Let's check this whole areas. They're almost too white. All right. Let's get out some color. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. He's really darker in the, around his eyes and I'm afraid to touch him. Really, the only white part of him is his nose area in there. Everything else is colored. <laughs> oh, dearie me. 
think I should probably stop. I think I'm, I'm probably done, done enough here. He's not perfect by any means. It was a little darker under the chin. If I didn't want it, it would be in my face. Here. Let's grab this. He's not perfect. I could do him differently. The more I do them, the, the better they get. A little bit more blue up in here. So I'm kind of doing a wet in wet technique. My marker here, which was a marker that was left by my rather significant other's kids when they were young, probably has to be at least 30 year old marker. I think that added to it. All right, I'm going to sign it. I'm going to quit on him. I might make his eyes. <laughs> oh, what did I do here? Look at that pin plus gear. I pulled it right out of the... I'm going to have to throw that one away. I'll throw it in the alcohol. Let's give him a little bit darker eye in here. Uh, 
there maybe. Who knows? No, gotta stop, Mary. We're gonna sign it. Let's find my marker to sign with. Two, five, twenty, twenty three. If you don't compare them to the picture, let's just move the picture out of the way. He's okay if you don't compare him to the picture. Let me put you guys back up on the stand. And let's give him some, let's give him a border. Let's give him a marks a lot border. And Leah? Let's see, did I get your, let's see, let me look at my email. I see Leah and Brenda's address out there. So I have your addresses. I'll get them addressed and we'll get them off in the mail tomorrow. It's so fun to do this. There we go. So there's the bear and here's the lion. Let's take my green, let's put my ink away. I think adding that brown, just a touch of brown, and adding that blue made him pop out a little bit more. You know, I have to say, he looks sad. <laughs> but I think he kind of looks sad in that picture, too. He's contemplative. He's not sad, he's thinking. Like, what am I going to have for supper tonight? I couldn't catch any rabbits or wildlife or whatever bears eat. No berries on the trees. What am I going to eat for supper? <laughs> oh, dear. Somebody better come and feed me. So there we go. And I carved some. I carved tonight. And I put those, that little mini stitch, that little mini stitching in my album that's about all i got done tonight let me look at chat let me refresh chat here i want to thank you all for coming in and spending a my camera's crooked spending a sunday evening with me tonight whoops i didn't do it any good that way did i I probably won't put these in my thumbnail, but I did these tonight. So Tuesday, I will work on um, Teresa's lion dog, dog lion. And, and uh, I want to do 
I, I need to get Janet Nash's and Tina's and Kathy Whitney and Sharon Lombard. I need to get their happy mail ready to send out. So I'm going to work on, on doing some drawings of these pretty ladies for them to put in there and do cards. So that's what I have. Let's see. Tomorrow's Monday. Janet Nash comes on at 9 o'clock. And Dee Dee comes on at 8.30. Eastern, both of them are Eastern. Um, Janet Young comes on around 1 Eastern. Lisa comes on around 1.30, I think, 1.30 uh, Central. Uh, she's been doing some things with Diane Fago, which I think is cool. Um, uh, I think they missed it last week, though. Diane wasn't able to make it. And Monday night or Monday evening, I think um, Lori Paint Gurley comes on Monday evening. Um, look for Bar Bowen coming on sometimes. She comes on Monday evenings. Uh, the TV goes on Monday evenings in this house. So he watches Prices or um, The Wheel of Fortune and he watches wrestling. So I kind of miss my Monday evenings, but there's always the replay. Hi, Angie. Good night, Angie. Thanks for, for coming. I And Paula, I think I miss saying hello to both of you. Bears eat fish, Alex says. Yeah. He says, I got to go fishing. <laughs> I got to go fishing. I wonder what kind of fish I'm going to have tonight. Who's going to fry it for me? Well, I have to eat it raw. <laughs> Who's going to cook my fish? He looks contemplative, that bear does. He actually had darker eyes, but I just didn't want to give him black eyes. I had to put those little whites in there to give him a little twinkle in his eye. It made him think. Good night, Angie. Good night, everybody. Have a great week. And go out. Enjoy the beauty of this world. There's so much to see out there. There's just so much to enjoy. We miss it, don't we? All right. Have a great evening. Thanks for spending your Sunday evening with me. Bye, everybody. Hugs and blessings to you. Good night, Mina and Teresa. Teresa, I'm going to go get your dog and put it in my gallery so I'll have it. Bye.